Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia. And if you have not already hit that subscribe button to my faithful subscribers and followers, shout out to you guys. You guys are the GOAT. I really appreciate you guys. Just want to let you guys know I love each and every one of you for your support. If I can get that out. Um, today I have another Silk Press video. It's been a while and I know you guys are like, what the heck Cassandra? But I have some major, major announcements and moves coming soon guys and I cannot wait to tell you guys everything. So. This was a client that I did for senior pictures. She's not wearing a mask, but the reason being is I'm actually doing her hair and her makeup. So it was no point of her wearing a mask for the hair point portion and then me taking it off just to do her makeup, which she's gonna have her mask off for the makeup anyway. So I just told her to get comfortable. It's only her and I in the salon. I booked her at seven in the morning before my other stylist came in. She comes in around 10. So it was just us, nobody in there. Real intimate, the door's locked, nobody can walk in, all that good jazz. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So I am using a brand called Kaleidoscope Hair Products. They were generous enough to reach out to me and send me a PR kit, so shout out to you guys. I have been using Kaleidoscope Hair Products, well I'll say the Miracle Drops and the Edge Control for about, the Miracle Drops I've been using since they launched. It's probably been about like two or three years and I use those faithfully in my hair, my daughter's hair, my client's hair. But this is actually my first time using their shampoo, their conditioner, they sent me like a brush, a reconstructed treatment, they sent me their different variety Miracle Drops, they sent me the regular, the extra strength, and the coconut Miracle Drops, um, and just a couple other things. So I'll just mention all that in the bottom of the video, and I will be sure to tag everything down below. So this client is completely natural. She's, I think she told me it was about two years since she's gotten her hair pressed. She typically wears it natural in that big puff, which is what you guys saw in the beginning. So I'm just going in using some of that Kaleidoscope shampoo, and I will link it down below. I believe it's a moisturizing shampoo and a moisturizing conditioner, but I'm actually recording this in my garage and the products are at my salon and I don't feel like running upstairs to look on the computer. So I will link everything down below, but she sent me this nice trio. So I did go ahead and shampoo my client with this shampoo. I put the conditioner and put a shower cap on her and I let her sit under the dryer for about 10 minutes. Each and every client that comes in, I always give them three shampoos minimum, meaning I put shampoo in their hair once, rinse it out, I do that three times and then I go in with conditioner. The, re the reason being is because you wanna make sure that you lift up any product, any residue, and you just wanna give them an overall good experience. And I don't like to rush this process. This is one of the reasons why a lot of people come because they like getting a hair wash. So I try to make sure that every wash is about five to seven minutes long. So that way they just get that nice feeling. I get into their scalp, I can kind of analyze the hair and so on and so forth. So here I am using this cute kaleidoscope hairbrush. I did go in and put in some Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. That's only because I always use that. And they did send me like a leave-in spray. That's like a leave-in detangler. But I wasn't sure if that was going to affect my press or leave like a film on the hair. So just to be on the super safe side, I just went in with what I know. But I'll definitely try that out next time when I do my daughter's hair. Because if her hair comes out with like a slight film or anything, which I'm not sure it does because I haven't tried it yet. Disclaimer. I just want to make sure that my client's hair is not going to be like weighed down or anything. So that's the reason, that's the only reason why I use the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. But everything else was kaleidoscope from, from start to finish. And they did send me a coupon code. It's Cassandra Olivia 15. I will pop that on the screen somewhere and I will also put it in the description box below. But if you use the code Cassandra Olivia 15, you will receive 15% off your purchase. So be sure to check them out. Like I said, the miracle drops are the truth. I would not lie to you guys. I have attached several pictures on my Instagram of my hair. I've been growing it out for three months. Kaleidoscope actually reposted me. I've added my daughter's hair, client's hair, all that good jazz. So you guys can kind of just see my hair growth journey. And like when I tell you guys, I'm probably on my ninth bottle of miracle drops. I just use the regular blue ones. So I'm going in just blow drying my client's hair. I'm doing the same thing I, that I do in all my other videos. I'm just going in with the paddle brush first, which I use the Kaleidoscope paddle brush. It's super cute. And I was super stoked that when I used my blow dryer, it didn't melt because a lot of times this blow dryer that I use guys, the Speed Freak, will melt the hell out of some of these paddle brushes if they're not a good material. So shout out to you Kaleidoscope, you guys literally thought about everything. So I just went in, blow dried her hair, I went back in with the round brush just to get her roots super straight. And now I'm going in with my custom irons that will be released finally, hopefully by next month. We got the logo situation sorted out guys and that will be in my next updated video. But um, yeah, coming soon. So this is not the final design, this is just a prototype. But to give you guys an idea, when I tell you guys I stand behind my product, I have literally been using my flat iron since about March. And this is the only iron that I use in my client's hair. I don't switch up anymore. There's no more rust, no more bioionic, nothing else. Literally just my personal brand of irons. And I have been doing every single client with these irons. When I tell you they are the truth, they are the MF and truth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press her out. I'm sorry I've been rambling, but I just feel like I need to get this off my chest and I haven't really talked to you guys in a while. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe during COVID. 
I feel like the school year is getting ready to start, so I know a lot of people are stressed out trying to figure out what to do with their kids, but don't worry, we got this, guys. 2020 is a crazy year. Um, rest in peace to the Black Panther. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that we lost a king, a soldier, a fighter. Um, I had to shout that out because this year has been crazy. I was really hurt and devastated when I heard that. But um, yeah, I hope that we can just push through 2020 and I'm hoping 2021 will be a better year. So I'm gonna finish pressing her out and then when I'm done, I'm just gonna come back and tell you guys what I'm doing on the next part. Real quick, while I remember to, because this client's getting her makeup done, I didn't want to do her edges because I knew I was going to put edge control and also I was going to be putting like contour and foundation on her and I didn't want that to mess up her edges. So after I was done doing her makeup, I did go back in and press her edges out and add some edge control. But um, you can see that they're super fine in the front. So um, I'm into healthy hair first over cute hair. I don't know about you guys, but if it's not going to, if it's going to damage my client's hair, I opt out of it or I let them know. So. I try not to put a lot of heat on her edges because I saw that they were already like super fine and kind of like a little sparse. So I didn't want to add too much more tension or cause any more breakage. So you kind of you kind of have to treat every client as an individual situation. So I did go in and just slick them down, but I didn't want to put a lot of heat on them because I didn't want to damage her hair. So I'm just going in, cutting her hair. I'm going in at a zero degree, finding my guideline, and I customized the haircut based on the client. I opted to use a white towel just because I feel like sometimes on this black cape you can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna go in zero degree at first, following her natural hair shape, and then I'm gonna pull it out at a 90 degree angle and just go in and take out any of the dead and split ends that she may have. And guys, I'm telling you, when I shot this video, it was gonna be lit. I had the hair, the makeup, everything recorded, and for some reason, my, my camera glitched. So the makeup portion, as soon as I got to her eyebrows, it was literally stuck like that for 35 minutes and I did not get the end result and I didn't realize until I went to go edit the video. I wasn't even gonna post this because I was so pissed and so discouraged, but I was like, you know what? She sent me some bomb photos for her senior pics. It's all right, you guys already know what I can do at this point, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely be recording some more people using these products because I wanted to get like a super bomb end result hair and makeup, judging her, and that just did not happen, but it's okay. Things happen, life goes on, we have to move forward. So. Just giving her a nice trim, and then I'm just gonna go back in with the flat irons and just go ahead and bump her ends, kind of giving her like some feathers because I know I'm gonna judge her hair out and wrap her. So I'm just throwing that out there in case you guys skip through the video and you're like, what the heck is she doing? So I'm curling her now, and then I'll come back when I'm done. So now I'm just gonna go in and put some Kaleidoscope Miracle edges on her. And the thing I like about this edge control is that it is infused with the Miracle Drops, which is super healthy. So not only did I not have to put heat on this client's hair, this edge control holds natural hair like no other. It does not give you a white film. And also it's healthy for your edges. So that way I can promote healthy hair growth for my client and we don't have to worry about her hair being damaged. Everything will be as is and growing and glowing and healthy. So now I'm going to the makeup portion. I've already wrapped her hair. And this is what I was upset about because literally when I was done her face, her makeup looked so flawless. Her mom was impressed. She was impressed. They loved it. People were walking in like, oh my God, I love it. Because at this point, it's like around 9.30. I believe Latea and her client came in. So they were just like, she looks so beautiful. She doesn't look too grown. But I'm just going in with some primer. Um, I'm using MAC Prep and Prime. I'm just putting that all over her face. She has really clear skin. She's 17. So you know 17 year olds, most of them have like super nice skin. I miss being 17. Oh my goodness. But I'm just going in and priming her skin. And I'm just also putting some MAC paint pot on her lid. I'm using groundwork and I'm using that as her base color. And I'm just gonna go in with my Juvia's Place palette and just add a little bit of natural like brown shadows in her eyes. 
I'm also using this paint pot to kind of pre-carve out her brows so that way when I go to actually do her eyebrows, she'll have like a nice definite shape but it won't be too like etched in there or too like Instagram brow-ish. We're going for like a really subtle natural look so that way she still looks like herself in her senior pictures. Um, so yeah, unfortunately in about like two minutes, this makeup portion is gonna be done because like I said, the camera glitched and it froze on her eyebrows. So you're gonna see what you can see. I'll just tag everything that I use down below, but I'm just going in with my um, crayon case brushes. Shout out to you, Supa and Judy, cause y'all friends and I love both of y'all products. So black girl magic all around. And now I'm just going in with this Julius Place palette. I'm using this brown shade that you see. And I'm just gonna use the brown that you see that I'm tapping into and then that gold at the very top in the center. And I like to use my fingers as well, just to apply product. Your fingers sometimes can be your best tools. So don't be scared to use your fingers, guys. Just make sure that you sanitize your hands first. So before every client, even before COVID, I was sanitizing my hands before every client, wiping everything down, using brand new clean brushes, never use dirty brushes. And anytime you do put like mascara, use a spoolie. Anytime you use lip products, use a lip disposable wand, so on and so forth. I have a makeup tray. But like I said, it was just this client, so I was kind of freestyling with her. But just giving her like a soft, glowy skin, um, natural face, natural eyes. Um, you're not gonna be able to see too much. So I'm just gonna be quiet at this point and I'm gonna just let this play out. Um, if you have any questions, you guys know you can always reach out to me via DM, email, comments. I try to read like the first 10 comments within like the first hour or so. Try to respond to as many people, but then after that, you guys know I get a ton of notifications. So if I don't respond to each individual person, I apologize. Just shoot me a DM. I will have my personal assistant who I'm hiring this week get back to you guys. So. I'm gonna let this makeup portion play out as far as it goes until I lose the footage. And then I'm just gonna insert some pictures of how my senior client looked when she got done, that she sent me some selfies, so shout out to you, girl. I really appreciate you and your mom for letting me record you and slaying you for your senior pictures because I know that's a super important moment in your life that you're never gonna forget. And the fact that you let me do your hair and your makeup, I was just like so honored. I've done so many seniors this year and I just love each and every one of you guys. I love each and every one of my clients. You guys literally make my job so wonderful and you guys keep me going. Like, I really love what I do. I could really do hair for free every day, makeup too. Like, I'm obsessed with you guys. I love making you guys look beautiful. So shout out to you. Shout out to all the Cassandra Olivia clients who've ever come near and far. You guys are super awesome. I appreciate every single last one of you guys for supporting my business and supporting my dreams and letting me record you guys. Like, nine times out of 10, I don't even have to ask my clients. You're like, yo, plug the camera up, let's go. So shout out to you guys. So I'm gonna finish her makeup out. I know I'm ranting, I'm so sorry. And yeah, I'm gonna add her pictures and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Be sure if you're trying to grow your hair out that you check out these Miracle Drops guys. And I will tag the description below of everything I'm using. And be sure to use code CassandraOlivia15 to get 15% off your purchase because who doesn't wanna get a discount? Like sis, what are you doing? And I will see you guys in the next video.